So the question we're asking in this video is, if I get stuck on the side of the road, is this spare going to help me and is your spare going to help you? Like many of you, my car came with this temporary spare. It's really interesting, but it's also really old and so we need to test it. So the question that we're really asking is, if we put air to this, will it hold air or will it end up exploding in my face? So we're gonna do some testing here instead of trying to inflate it on the side of the road when I need it most. So here's what we need to avoid. When we're filling this tire or any other tire for that matter, if we hear a popping noise, then we know we're in real trouble. Let me quickly give you an example of what I'm talking about. If you hear that, well then, What's coming next is gonna really shock you. So here's what's gonna happen next. I'm no hero and I'm not into having tires explode in my face. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the tire around the corner over there away from me just in case something happens and then use this inflator and gauge and see if we can get it up to pressure and also see if this tire, this spare wheel has withstood the test of time. Better. High pressure hoses and things always make me so nervous. Okay, here we go. I've not heard any popping just yet, but I'm really nervous. It's also a very strange design, so I'm not sure what inflates and how it inflates, but it looks like the inner part here is inflating. The outer is yet to. There are two valves here. There's one here and one here. I don't know what this is, and so I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen next, but let's continue. I did find this, however. It's no English, but it says 2.5 bar max. On the tire here, it also says 40 PSI max. So we're not gonna to push too far, but at this point, the gauge is saying almost nothing. Either this gauge is wrong, or I am really just a flipping wimp because it says there's zero pressure so far, and I don't know how that's possible if it's inflating. I've also noticed that I think there's a rusty nail in here. Okay, stop procrastinating. Let's just get this done. Does that sound like zero pressure to you? Well, right now it looks like it's losing pressure. We were at about 12, 14 PSI. We're back down to 10. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. There's some shape. So this whole time we were looking on top, it's actually on the back. Okay, it's showing its age. Both myself and Darren behind the camera are getting quite nervous. Because tires aren't supposed to look like this. Um, in addition to that, we've got this going on. We've got to definitely have a rusty nail there. Okay, still 10 PSI. I'm struggling to understand what's going on because we have been giving this tire quite a lot of air over the last little while. The only thing that we really have seen is that this side, this wall has been coming out. But other than that, on this gauge, we're not seeing very much happen at all. And so it could be a faulty gauge. So I'm gonna just come over here to the car. I usually keep the tires pressurized to about two bar and let's see what this says. Yep, two bar. So it's definitely not the gauge, it's definitely the tire, and that's why we're doing this test, to see how this tire behaves when we need it most. 
So far, I'm not very happy. I'm not so impressed. Let's see what happens if we tickle it with a little bit more air, but I'm probably going to put this down as a fail. I certainly wouldn't trust this if I was out on the road. Well, this test seems to have proven itself quite worthwhile because I've learned that I have zero confidence in this spare wheel. I'm going to need something else because if I was out there on the side of the road, I'd be well and truly stuck. So I suggest that you run some similar tests yourself. And if you do record them, please send them my way. I'd like to see different people's experiences. But before you go, we're going to head over to a professional shop and see what happens when they run the tests in their controlled environment. Of course, we could have asked them to do the tests all along, but where would the fun have been in that? All right, enjoy the outro and I'll see you in the next video. Are we good? One point, three. So there's a full on puncture here. I can feel it. Okay. I'll go through. Thank you. I'm at home, and yes, that tire is absolutely rubbish. It's not a spare, it's just useless. So I'm going to have to source something online, or maybe Porsche has something, or maybe one of you is using something or running something that the rest of us can learn from. So please leave that in the comment section below for the whole community to access. All right. Cheers for now.